account for the change in the spatial pattern of the iron and steel industry in the world. 250 words Iron and steel industry is a very basic industry which fulfills the raw material demand of other industries down the supply chain like construction, automobile, infrastructure, oil and gas industries. There has been a shift of production capacity of iron steel from OECD countries which used to dominate during 1960s to 1980s era. Now countries like China, South Korea, India, Japan, USA and Germany are among the biggest producers of steel. This is because of several factors. 1. Developing nations like India and China are the major demand of the product and it is only natural that new industries will be set up in these regions. Two. Germany and U.S. companies are host to the major infrastructure developing companies and heavy machinery manufacturing companies both of which require raw material in iron and steel. 3. Iron and steel industry has gone several efficient technological changes to reduce cost and increase productivity during late 20th century. Japan, China, South Korea are nations which have led the research and thus the facilities are located there. For South Asian countries have emerged as a transport hub with wide range of connectivity in Indian Ocean and South China Sea with emerging developing nations and African developing nations as well. This factor has also made Southeast Asia a major iron and steel manufacturing, transporting, all-inclusive hub. 5. The developing nations have the majority of the population of the world which leads to increased demand of automobiles, infrastructure projects etc. The industrialists tend to make decisions which are most profitable and they tend to shift industry trends by these decisions. All this development in the iron and steel industries might as well shift to Africa when huge projects start coming up there. There has been a shift of production capacity of iron steel from OECD countries which used to dominate during 1960s to 1980s era. Now countries like China, South Korea, India, Japan, USA and Germany are among the biggest producers of steel. No except for India and China. All them are part of OECD. Point two. US is actually the biggest importer of steel. Point three. Japan produced more steel in 1980 than in 2017. South Korea has seen only a partial increase. Point four. Around a quarter of all global trade passes through South China Sea. It's not unique to steel. Point five. Vague and pointless. Plus point one seems to be similar. Where is Russia? It produces as much as South Korea and much, much more than Germany. Or the fact that China alone produces half of global steel manufacturing. And for your conclusion, between 2000 to 2017, global steel production has rose by about 800 mmt, of which, around 700 came from China. And it wasn't industrialists but state-owned enterprises. That fact is, except for China. There has been little change in spatial pattern. And you are just dying to prove through theories something which isn't there. If the question asks you if unicorns would make good means of transportation, before you get into pros and cons, remember to point out that we'll have to discover them and think about why the question is being asked in the first place.